Hello and welcome to Raven's Arcana. I am Raven. I hope everyone is hanging in there and doing well. This is your timeless tarot spread, meaning that it is not bound to any day, week, month, or year. And let's jump into it. So we start off the reading with the Strength card, followed by the Hanged Man, and we end with the Page of Wands. Now with our Strength card, we know that is energy from the sun right? That is Leo energy. And that is about vitality, about life. And I think you have someone in your life that is negatively affecting your energy. Now, the strength card is strength amongst adversity. And we see the representations and the figures in the card. We have a snake and a mouse. We know that a snake eats mice. So this is a situation that is very dangerous for you. I don't think you're in danger of physical harm. I do think it has to do with information though. So with the snake, the snake represents someone that is very cunning, very sly, very deceitful. This is someone that is in your life and I don't think you can remove yourself or remove them from the situation. So this could be a neighbor. This could be a spouse of someone you are very close with a uh, boyfriend, girlfriend of someone who you are really close friends with, right? It could be someone that you work with. So once again, you cannot remove this person from like your daily experiences. But as the mouse, you know, the mouse is very resourceful. The mouse is also very kind, right? Is very focused. This person sees your kindness as weakness, but we know that kindness is ultimate strength, right? So you have to be strong. And how do you get out of this situation or transform this situation and remove that negativity? So we have the hangman card. We know the hangman card is Neptune energy. It is spirituality. It is also illusion and delusion. Now, this person is putting up an illusion, a facade, but you have figured out that they are cunning, sly, deceitful, and you have to address this in some certain way. The hangman also with that Neptune energy is a connection to the collective consciousness. So through meditation, through introspection, we can figure out ways to address certain situations. And the possum, right? So the possum depicted in this tarot card, in this version, the possum is a problem solver. It has an ability to adapt and change. Also, the possum can represent a need to protect yourself from negative influence. Now, obviously, this snake, this person that's in your life is having a negative influence on you. So the need to make a change, right? The need for introspection, how to address the situation. And we have the page of wands. And that gives us the message that we do need to take action, right? So this is new beginnings. This is abrupt action. This is um, transformation. As we see the crow, we know that the crow represents transformation and change. We know that the crow is very tactful, right? The crow is very smart, also a problem solver. But this transformation doesn't need to be within yourself. You keep your kindness. You keep everything that makes you your true authentic self. You don't need to change yourself for other people. We need to transform and change the situation. And that is by taking action, represented once again by the Page of Wands. So you need to have a really divine spark in you that brings the hammer down, that calls out this person. Take that, you know, that wand, that club out, now you're not going to get into a fight or an argument with them. But what I mean by bringing the hammer down is you are going to choose your words carefully and deliver a message to them that one, I know what you're doing. I know that you have been deceitful. I'm calling you out on it. And also, you know, you might share that information with other people, but this is for your self-preservation. So focus when you are meditating, when you are connecting to uh, you know consciousness levels, your intuition. Make sure that your words are chosen carefully and delivered in a manner where this person knows, hey, oh wow, 
they've realized that uh, my behavior and the way I communicate has been deceitful, it has been negative. And typically when you do that and you deliver it with the intention of not only calling them out, but letting them know that they have been discovered, right? You have discovered their deceit, then they will back away. This will remove that energy from the situation when you have to be around them in gatherings, when you have to be around them at work, when you have to see them and talk to them as a neighbor. And then they will actually remove themselves from the situation if you are able to deliver a clear and concise recognition of their behavior and that, you know, warning that I have figured you out. I know what you've been doing. I'm calling you out and leave it at that. Once again, it will not turn into an argument. It's not going to turn into a fight. When you call someone out on their BS, typically they know exactly what they've been doing and they will back away. All right. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you hanging out. If you like the video, please give it a like. If you are not subscribed to the channel and uh, enjoy the content, please subscribe and uh, click that notification bell so you can get uh, alerts when I release new content. Other than that, take care of yourself and have an amazing day.